is Amitesh. Okay, Richard Misek. Roy Vincent O'Connell. I am 19 years old. My age is 47. I'm age 82. And my birthday is the 15th of August 2000. January 8th. The 24th of March 1937. Essentially, it's essentially a two-handed drum that originates in India, where I'm from, and um, it has a it has an alphabet. It has a it has a theory behind it. It's so complex that it just allows me to you know sink into it and allows me to let go of everything because it's so complex. And and every time I play it, there's always something new. What makes me happy is my alone time. Um, it's it's very it's very weird to say it, people. And when I tell this to people, they usually say, that, "Oh, do you not like people?" And that's not true. I really enjoy the com the company of you know other people, but it's getting away from that kind of people and just making it just allowing me to be me in the kind of best way possible is just amazing sometimes and and you know various things various things around the room whether you know it's whether it's my rubik's cube whether it's whether it's you know even a camera whether it's anything whether it's a book whether it's my laptop all of those kind of all of those are not only things that help me get in touch with people but they also help me get in touch with me It didn't start off as a hobby. It just started off as, you know, I just want to do this. Like, the day I... And, you know, then when I first started learning it, I was so bad, it was unreal. Um, because it is a very hard instrument to get a grasp of. And But then it, it started off as an obsession. It became a challenge to learn. Then it became... Then it became a hobby. It became a form of escape um, when I came to university and, you know, came to university, missing home, missing family. This reminded me of family in a weird way because, well, you know, my mother's connected to it because she was the one who, you know, got me the teacher. My father's connected to it because he really loves Indian classical music. And, um, and yeah, you know, it just became, it just became that. Um, and then, and then, you know, now once I got to grips with, you know, you know, staying away from family and stuff like that, then it just became a personal es escape of just, you know, just, just playing the instrument because it's, because that's what it was and that's what it is now. Now it's just something I do. Now it's part-time hobby, part-time escape. It's great. the instrument I've never been sad even if I've started off sad um, you know having a bad day whatever even if I've started off that way I know that by the end of it I always leave a kind of happier person and I've kind of I don't know where that sad emotion has gone I know maybe it's gone into this I have no idea because if it's gone into this this is a really sad instrument makes me happy then. Um, I think um, doing things that I'm that I enjoy, I mean obviously, and I'm good at. Um, so um, making films and teaching um, make me happy. Like actually I mean not you know not necessarily the um, kind of the paraphernalia around it, but the actual thing itself. We're going to do a run through of my episode um, with Oscar um, to see whether it stands up or falls down. Um, so he'll probably do a couple of run throughs of that, then he'll get on with his own work. Okay, 
still got it useful. Um, it's just, it was very, very stressful, you know, there was a lot of, pre it was a world premiere, there was a lot of pressure on me and my two collaborators. Okay, so this is going to be shortened. It's like, you know, kind of on the deeper level, it's about balance in a way, you know, like on a, on a more kind of, you know, longer duration level. It's like when everything is sort of in balance, you know, I'm happy. So, you know, when I'm doing, doing some filmmaking and doing some teaching and I have time to get home, you know, not late or, you know, go up to London for the weekend or something, you know, and I'll look back on it and think, you know, that was a good week. And something, like thinking about, you know, something that makes me happy generally, and this isn't an object, I would say, like, other people, like, just, um, it's quite banal. But actually, you know, like, even today, you know, actually, you know, having had a really kind of rough few days and having you here is really nice, you know, and just, like, sociability and people to chat to, you know, it just, you know, it, that's why I like teaching, you know, because you're always around people, you know, it's like all day you're face to face with somebody. Um, so, you know, that's, that's not the object, but, so anyway, blah, blah, so the, I, I do have an object, um, and so as I say, it's a little bit, kind of, a little bit embarrassing, like maybe for me, maybe for you, a little bit over-revelatory, maybe, um, but my object is this, 20 milligrams of Prozac every day. You know, when I was looking for things, and I was looking for other things, which somehow, echo happiness or, you know, perhaps, you know, indirectly lead to happiness, but not so clearly and directly. I mean, I think if I were old, it might be different. I'd be in a different place because I'd be in a, you know, kind of looking back on my life and tying it up. But, you know, being kind of in the middle of it, it feels like memories are always slightly ambiguous. Even when it's a happy memory, you know, in terms of an object, for, for the object that most, um, has an impact on my day-to-day -day happiness, you know, I'm afraid, um, is this. So there we have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my name is uh, Roy Vincent O'Connell. I'm age 82. Uh, that's it. Uh, uh, and your birthday? Oh, my birthday is the 24th of March, 1937. What makes you happy? What makes me happy is my family. It always has done. I've got a lot of uh, grandchildren. I've got nine grandchildren. I've got nine great-grandchildren. And I've got two children. I had three, but I lost my oldest son at the age of 51. It hurts to talk about it, but we do, because we talk him about him as if he was still here. He was a wonderful artist. He was a good good amateur wrestler. He would have gone to the Olympics. He was a policeman for 31 years, but unfortunately he got shot in line of duty, in his in, and that was training. And um, unfortunately he got a brain tumour and uh, we lost him. Early days of happiness was my two sons being champion wrestlers, following in my footsteps, if you like, you know. Freddie Boone, Freddie Boone, this guy. And uh, there's another one, and I'm training my two sons when they was very young. I don't wrestle anymore now, obviously at my age, but I still run a gymnasium, and I have done since the all late 50s and I still uh, train six times a week and I love training people. See this? This is uh, the roots of our family. You heard me say earlier on that children make me happy. Well, one of my grandchildren, I believe it was Kelly. Kelly did. Kelly, she did this for us. And this is the roots, all the names of the... And she's got to add to it. It's got to be added to, so we've got more coming more along. Coming. But uh, that's, that's lovely, and that's the, obviously the roots of our family. If you had one wish, what would it be? <laughs> Apart from winning the lottery? Um, <laughs> one wish, one wish. Happiness, really. Hap, hap, live long enough to see, 
see more of a bit more great grandchildren come along. The more the merrier. And because my wife and I love children, we we, we we love what they bring. They bring happiness with us, and we've always loved having them around us. You know, yeah, yeah. That's the main thing. That's what makes me happy.